So a potential client approached you for a logo design project, and he sends you a design brief. What do you do now? That's what this video is about. First, let's talk about what our design brief means. A design brief is a document describing the design work that needs to be done. It's usually prepared by the business or person who is commissioning the work. Design briefs come in all sizes and shapes. They can be formal and detailed, or they can be short and informal. Every client you encounter in your creative career will have brief written in different ways or formats. What's important to you as a designer it is? Understanding the design brief to figure out exactly what the client wants. So here's a design brief that we created for an example project. The company name is Squint, and the company description is, we are an upcoming social media platform that lets the users quickly share what's happening around them. With our innovative algorithm, users will be able to visualize how many people have shared a video or a squint in their area. Our target audience is primarily people in their 20s. Job description. You must create a logo using the given information in this brief. We prefer a logo that is adaptable and can be used in different contexts. The logo will be used both on web and print for advertising. Take into account the company's values and preferences and make sure it will work for the planned use cases. We want to convey a sense of activeness, fun, and youthfulness with our branding. This is how a typical design brief looks like. This one is rather short and precise. One of the reasons you pick the short brief is to show you how to navigate through a brief and extract information that will help you design the right logo for your client. The first thing you need to do is reread the brief multiple times you properly Socrative. I want you to forget that you are a designer for a second and look at the brief form, the client's perspective. This will help you understand where they're coming from and what are their goals or aspirations with the project. Look for keywords and phrases in the brief. A good idea is to note down the important keywords. What I prefer doing and then recommend you as well is created a must-have list from the brief. The list will contain all the must-have requirements of the client. So let's go back to the brief we saw earlier and try to create a must-have list. I'd recommend you pausing the video and really think before you write down anything. Okay, my must-have list looks something like this. Company aim squint. Target audience, people in their 20s. The visual look and feel they're looking for is fun, youthfulness, and activity. The use cases are web and print. Now we have some information to work with. We have the name of the company that will be used on the logo. We know about the target audience, the visual look and feel. They want in the design and where the logo will be used. But that's still not enough. You know about the brand and what kind of logo they want but there's still uncertainty about their design preferences. You need more information from your client so that you don't keep bothering them with questions about the project. And the best way to do that is by sending a logo questionnaire. It is a simple document with questions about the client's design preferences. You can download this exact template from the video description and edit it as you like. But you wouldn't want to send a questionnaire to your client in a Word document or PDF format. It's best that you use something like Google Forms, where the client can instantly answer your questions. I ask in questionnaires using Google Forms whenever I've worked with clients. It's fast and convenient. Also edit and revise the questionnaire for every client. You don't have to ask the questions that are irrelevant and out of the scope of the project. You also don't want to repeat questions that you already discussed with your client previously. The goal of the questionnaire is to bridge the gap between you and your client's visual language. This will help you later on in the project as you will know what the client expects from you, and you will learn about their design taste as well.